because of all the changes going on, so many opportunities, so many careers, so many different, uh, uh, I would say, uh, I would say opportunities, but so many different choices where we get paralyzed because there's too much to choose and we don't know what to do because you can do so many things. Um, there has to be a decision from yourself and getting to know yourself a lot better and figuring out what it is that you like to do regardless of what anybody else is doing and how successful they are at it and what their income is and what, you know, Noriari, nor, blah, 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 Noriari, I can't even say the word. <laughs> so I won't say what kind of, what type of level of success they have in it. And it... What's, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, welcome back. I want to share a quick little message I had, a quick inspiration uh, from the book obviously and um, if you've been watching me uh, you probably know what the hell is this guy talking about, who is he, what does he do. Um, I am just like you, I'm just like anybody else. I always love to share thoughts and deep conversations with others and I started my channel. So here we go and from the book itself, sorry I just dropped it, but there it goes. Um, he basically in linchpin Seth Golden is talking about how let me get the book it's talking about how we have different it's different rules now we have different rules everything is different times has changed right so um wanted to remind you guys especially anybody that feels like me <laughs> when you have you know, we've been, I, I felt like me going to college, I had a map, you know, I felt like I had to follow a map and I would be guaranteed, obviously, uh, you know, my my uh, rewards or uh, my fruits of labor, as they call it. And and that was kind of the traditional way of thinking. You follow a map to get a certain career that is going to give you the best opportunity to live a life, uh, support your family and support yourself, obviously, uh, you know. That was kind of the only means, right? And now, because of all the changes going on, so many opportunities, so many careers, so many different, uh, uh, I would say, uh, I would say opportunities, but so many different choices where we get paralyzed because there's too much to choose and we don't know what to do because you can do so many things. Um, there has to be a decision from yourself and getting to know yourself a lot better and figuring out what it is that you like to do regardless of what anybody else is doing and how successful they are at it and what their income is and what you know nor 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 blah blah blah, blah. nor i can't even say the word <laughs> so i won't say what kind of what type of level of success they have in it and it doesn't matter um what they do because it's a, you have you're going to be different at it and you're going to come up with your own way of doing it but in the, in the chapter itself, he talks about now we're in a different age where, you know, we were used to this traditional way of thinking where you had a map and you followed, and you followed the map and you were rewarded. And you were rewarded to whatever they gave you. Now we, the individuals that are rewarded the best are those that, you know, are, are willing to take on a journey without the map, create it along the way, and figure shit out. That's just the way it is. Um, and, and I think... Once you admit that you're you're kind of lost, because I think that's the hardest thing for us to admit. I know for me, I'm gonna give you a quick example. Over the weekend, this is a true story. Um, I was switching out a uh, switch in my house, um, a switch for the lights, right? And being that I'm always a doer yourself, or I have some experience doing it, so I went and I I got went to the hardware store, bought the switch, but it's been a while since I installed the switches, and I miss uh, like I didn't connect them properly. And I happened to just break off a piece of the switch, um, and I messed it up. Just, just to make the story short, I messed it up. I thought twice about going to the same hardware store where I bought it from from these individuals, 
and bringing it back to them and telling them that I screwed it up and that I needed a new one. And that made me, you know, really think about how we all live our lives. We're kind of scared to show others our failures, our, um, like, missteps, you know, our, 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 and how, how bad we are certain things. We feel that we must be looked at, we have to be looked as a professional and perfect all the time. And there's times where you're going you're gonna to mess up. And I think the, the sooner you're able to admit it, the sooner you're able to be okay with being uh, maybe made fun of, maybe scolded at, because I've, you know, I've gotten scolded by my supervisors for messing up at one point. And it, it was really hard to accept at that time. But as I get older, I realize that none of us are perfect. Not you, not me, not anybody that you know, anybody that we know, are perfect. At one point, they started somewhere as well, and they had to go through whatever you're going through now. So... If you are feeling any type of way where you don't want to look foolish, you don't want to look like an amateur uh, because you are a professional all your life and now you, you want to start something new and you don't want to look like an amateur at that and that's the only thing holding you back, then I think you have to reassess and get comfortable with being like suck, you know, like sucking in the first couple of months at that thing because as you go, you get better. You know, if you see my first couple of videos here on YouTube, I have the basic of the basic equipment. I have no type of direction. I still don't, <laughs> but I've got, I feel like I've gotten better. It's gotten better as I go. Um, and and it's still, there's still a lot of time, for, it's still a lot of space for improvement, obviously, but I'm nowhere near I was when I first did my first video. And this is maybe 300 videos ago. And I still kind of cringe when I look at my own videos, but I, what I'm trying to give you guys an example is that you have to start one and, and, Sometimes we want to have the map in front of us. We go on YouTube and we be like, oh, let me, how to start your YouTube channel. Great. But if you don't start, you will never know. And no matter what videos we watch, how many videos I watch, I watch a lot of YouTubers that tell me, you know, that tell us how to do certain things. And that's great. And I, and I respect them. I follow a lot, a lot of their choices and decisions. Um, this camera that I bought, I bought it because of, shout out to Think Media, where he talks about different cameras for YouTubers. And... And these are great help, you know, great tools to help you along the way. But you yourself as an individual have to figure it out for yourself. What it is you like to talk about. What it is you like to maybe do. Maybe you don't like to record. Maybe you don't like to actually talk on maybe a podcast. Everything that you are good at, I think you only know yourself. Not me, not anybody else can tell us. So, which individual are you? Do you are you an individual that likes to have a map, follows the map, and hopes to get the rewards? Or you individual that follows your journey, creates the map along the way, and just takes the next step, um, the next step that makes the most sense to us. And that is scary as hell because we don't know what's going to come out of from there. But maybe that's part of the fun part. There's no uh, guarantee, but there's also no downfall to it. And we do not know. Every single day we wake up, we make a ch we get a chance to make it you know all over again and make ourselves better. And um, so, yeah, hopefully this inspires you. It became an inspirational <laughs> video. But just please, before you go, start doing it. Forget about the map. Just take one step at a time, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. We choose significance here in this world. And I think we're all on the same journey. That's what we all want to be able to know what are we here to do. And um, I think it's one day at a time. So um, let me cut the video short. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Um, and look out for my videos, guys. Thank you so much for following me. I appreciate you guys. And don't forget to like if you do and subscribe. I'll see you guys.